Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a blast from the past. Look at that, 2011, 2011 Panini Crown Royale football. 12 box random team number one. I don't know if you know if I, remember, if I even remember doing any of these. Um, group breaks that is. All teams in, all cards ship. Cam and Julio Jones. Cam Newton and Julio Jones are the big chases in this right here. I guess if we pull that book, is, are those, is that a book or is that separate? Might be separate. Anyway, some pretty nice stuff. Big thanks all of these folks for getting into the action. We also have all teams in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven the final time. After seven, we've got Victor down to Kurt. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. And seventh and final time. After seven, Seahawks down to Eagles. All right, see you, Nick. All right, so Victor with the Seahawks, Tony with the Ravens, Charles with the Cowboys, Scott with the Falcons, Joey with the Washington football team, Robert with the Saints, Barry with the Rams, Diego with the Jaguars, Karen with the Packers, Richard with the Giants, Andrew with the Panthers, Joe with the Browns, Matt with the Raiders, uh, obviously you'll get Oakland Raiders stuff, Richard with the Lions, Andrew with the Cardinals, Scott with the Vikings, Bernard with the Bengals, Scott Cooper with the Steelers, Serenity with the Jets, Scott uh, with the Titans, Ryan with the Colts, Kip Kip Hooray with the Patriots, Ryan with the Dolphins, Bernard with the Buccaneers, Barry with the Niners, Neil with the Broncos, Bill with the Texans, Joe with the Bears, Robert Johnson with the Chargers, Scott with the Bills, Nick Galvin with the Chiefs, and Kurt with the Philadelphia Fly Eagles Fly. All right, so let's sort this by column B right here. And we're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Little bit of trade chatter, but no, no deals are done in the end here in 12 box random team number one. Also, a quick note. I accidentally put someone else's name in there, but the, the real name was supposed to be Sarah. So there she is right there. Chargers. So that, she was in that exact spot where that other person was previously, but... Thankfully, it lined up nicely. All right, so here is 2011 Crown Royale. We're doing all 12 boxes in this case. Good luck, a little blast from the past. This is actually, if you look at the the Wikipedia link that I dropped not too, not too long ago for the draft class, it's not, not a bad draft class. There's Breeze right there. That's what we're looking for. Four autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Do all, I'm sure, do all cards ship in this? Yeah, all cards ship in this. Just, everything's like a die cut and everything, so it's just easier for us to ship everything. Ooh. Man, this, this was still back in the day when they gave you a checklist. <laughs> oh, why do I need that for redemptions? They don't have names on the redemptions. Good call. Sean Jaspi unjamming us up. There you go. Thanks, Sean. We'll save one of those, and we'll see. Uh, redemptions are probably going to be expired in this. I'm almost certain they are. So, But Panini might be able to do They're usually pretty, compared to some of the other... Manufacturers seem to be pretty flexible about getting you something back in return. All right, good luck. There's Patrick Peterson, blue to 100. The number font looks a little different there, too. And our first autograph is going to be Jeremy Curley. Remember Jeremy Curley? 276 out of 499. In a video for the second channel? I'm not sure what that means, Mr. Beast. 
I think our PR department has to approve that first. I don't know how am I how am I going to be in the second in the video. There's Mark Ingram Saints two oh three out of two ninety nine. That will be for who's got the Saints in this? Robert Ives. And we got Denarius Moore. I remember Denarius. You guys remember Denarius Moore? If you're not a Raiders fan, you probably don't. He was decent for a second or two. That goes to my Raiders, Matt McLaughlin with the Raiders. I was running out of blank card. Thankfully, I have, I have some more. And we've got Dwayne Harris. Die cut autograph for the Cowboys, Charles Scrabble. 309 out of 499. Next box. There's Jeremy Curley again, blue to 100. And we got Cameron Hayward for the Steelers. Rookie die cut autograph for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Scott Cooper. 383 out of 499. All card ship, folks. So in case I, in case I miss something here. Don't worry, all cards will ship. There's Bob Lilly, old Cowboys legend, relic going to Charles and the Boys. Thirty six out of ninety nine. My Lakers down by ten at the beginning of the third quarter, which makes me think that I'm don't think that they're gonna cover. The Lakers minus six and a half. T J Yates. Die cut autograph for Houston. That's going to be Bill. What's TJ Yates up to these days? 341 out of 499. What do you think? What's TJ Yates doing? Is he, still, he might be like a low key third string practice squad guy on some random team. Whoa! JJ Watt, rookie autograph. Nice. Die cut rookie auto for Bill and the Texans. That's nice. 35 out of 499. I think it's time for a new bell, ladies and gentlemen. The bell is dead. Long live the bell. Ooh, good steal, KCP. Take it. Nice layup and in. Got Chris Durham, 39 out of 100. Seahawks, Victor. Your rookie autograph is Jordan Cameron. Cameron Jordan, Jordan Cameron, Cameron Johnson, Johnson Cameron's. James, oh, James got some research for us. I love that. 
Last I could find, TJ Yates, offensive assistant with the Texans. There you go. See? It's like, it's like once you're kind of in that football industry, I feel like as long as you're, long as you're like a relatively, even moderately smart dude, you can have a job forever. There's George Blanda. Nice. 276 out of 299. Old Raider going out to uh, Matt McLaughlin with Oakland. I can't believe my Raiders beat the Saints last night. I thought they'd keep it close. I took the Raiders plus, uh, plus six. There's TJ Yates again. Yeah, so I, I was like, yeah, they could probably cover. 499 out of 499, the last of these cards ever made. Another one, Texans. Not as good as the J.J. Watt, but there you go. And we got Corey Lugit for the Lugit for the Chargers. That goes to Sarah and the Bolts. Sean Jaspi is a Chargers fan. Sean, tell me your favorite story about Corey Lugit. Oh, Lugit, yeah. The uh, lineman, the incredible, very good lineman, actually. Yeah, a, apparently a run-stopping force during his three seasons at Illinois. Yeah, another tackle. Uh, Nicknamed too legit to quit, a first-round pick, and a focal point for opponents. Well, what's he? What's he doing now? Um, I think he just had injury Oh, there was like a serious injury? No, no, like serious no. medical issue? No, no, no. Oh, that that inter that derailed his career. Yeah. Right. That's a shame. All right, well there you go. There there there's the story, Sarah. Zachary Pierce guessing that Cam Newton is, is is in this very box right here. Backpack this pack? I don't know if that's the if that's what you're considering the backpack. All right, there's Joe Flacco, majestic relic. Falcons, Scott Cooper. Can I say Falcons? Ravens? Tony, I mean? I don't know why I said different bird, Joe. Come on. Getting my birds mixed up. What about the Falcons? G gifting. There's Marcel Darius. Crown jewel rookies for the Bills. Scott Coo Scott, there you go, Scott Coo The Falcons gifting the Cowboys that W. What were they doing? Am I confused? Sean Jaspi. Is the receiving team, does the receiving team on an onside kick have to wait 10 yards yes. to touch the ball? So everyone has to wait 10 yards, right? Yep. All they have to do is pick it up. So once it went 10 yards, after, no, they don't. The Nick Galvin, Prim, and Zach saying they don't have to wait 10 yards. Uh, Samich is no, saying no. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, kicking team, yes. yes, the kicking team does. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so no, no. I was just confirming. Cause, no, no. Right, 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 right. They could have picked it up the whole time. That's exactly that's what I'm getting to. Because I was like, unless I just don't forgot that rule, nope. the receiving team does not have to wait. Nope. The nope. ATL, right, big old note Sean Jaspi saying. He misheard me. All they had to do was just scoop it up. But they were acting like they were the, the, the kicking team. They were saying, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. All right, behind Wes Welker is Evan Royster. Not, not quite Cam Newton, but there he is for the Washington football team, Joey. 256, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's actually true. That's a good point. I think, um, yeah, the lack of a preseason, I think, definitely hurts that special teams, too. And we saw it clearly with Atlanta. 
They could have just scooped it up. Five players having brain farts at the same time. I feel like there was one guy that was actually being, actually was like, no, no, no. Back, back, back. They all, Dave's like, they all had Cowboys money line. I mean, not only, if you're a Falcons fan, I mean, I don't want, I don't know what's happening there. Although they covered. The Falcons were plus four and a half. <laughs> you could have just scooped it up. Unbelievable. Just a, just a crazy season. There's Steve Smith going to Andrew Webb and the Panthers. Panthers losing run CMC. That's rough. Does that mean Bridgewater steps up? More passing for Bridgewater? To who? There's Heinz Ward. Kings of the NFL relic for the Steelers. I mean, that's the storyline everyone's been talking about, right? All the injuries in week two. For, for reality football and fantasy football, rough time. Saquon Barkley going down. Daniel Jones might be out for a second. Drew Locke is out. Cortland Sutton is out. Solomon Thomas for the Niners. And Nick Bosa is out. So that's two important guys on their defensive line that are out. That's not good. Ty right, Tyrod Taylor is out. Daquan Bowers. Wow. Uh, for the Buccaneers, that's going to be for Bernard Samuel. James M. saying Robbie Anderson. That's right, balling out for Carolina. And there's Net Fusion, Nate Keating for the Chargers. What is that? It's an actual piece of the net? That's kind of awesome. I forgot about this. Why don't they do this anymore? Panini, please bring back the kicking net in your products. I want to see more of that. And that's for Sarah and the Chargers. Oh, did he? Chargers and their special teams. Was that the butt fumble year? No. All right, C Shep, what's going on? The redemption is. Card 218. It's DeMarco Murray. Card 218. RPS rookie gold die cuts. Wow. DeMarco Murray, which would have been huge that particular year. It's Cowboys edition, of course. Um, that'll, this will go to Charles. Charles, you may be able to talk to Panini, convince them to, I don't know, I think sometimes they'll give you points in return for something like this. So you can give that a shot if you'd like. They're, they're much nicer about it than a lot of the other manufacturers. Speaking of Robbie Anderson, did, did everyone see Robbie Anderson call the Carolina Panther a bear? There's some great sideline audio of Robbie Anderson nudging one of his teammates during, a, during when they were on the bench and being like, what's that bear up there, Robbie Anderson said. <laughs> and the guy next to him kind of looked at him and was like, nah, that's Sir Purr. <laughs> Robbie Anderson, I think, kind of misheard him because he's like, what? A Sir, a, a, a Sir Purr? He's like, yeah, that's Sir Purr thinking that maybe he would have associated that it's a panther and not a bear. Robbie Anderson's like, Sir Purr. Say that, say that again? Sir Purr. Sir Purr, all right. Robbie Anderson was very confused. 
Yeah, that DeMarco Murray would have been a monster hit in 2011. Another redemption. There's Jay Cutler to 100. Sir Her. This is card 135. And that is Greg McElroy. I don't know Greg McElroy. They put teams on here. He's a Jets QB. Yeah, was with the Jets for a couple years. Then 2013 Bengals practice squad, and that's it. Wow, he was an SEC. He's a national champion. I. You remember this? Samich remembers this. He's like. Like Alabama QB. Yeah. Went on a national championship in 2010. And then was the uh, was the SEC championship game MVP in 2009. Yeah, he's an analyst now. It's when uh, the national championship game was Alabama beating Texas 37-21. Whoa, this, this was a Mark Ingram Alabama team. And Trent Richardson. By good, I mean he handed off the ball well. Right, I'm looking at the scoring summary in this national championship game. Mark Ingram, two-yard run. These are the Alabama scores. Mark Ingram, two-yard run. Trent Richardson, 49-yard run. There was an interception. There was a field goal. And Mark Ingram, one-yard run. Trent Richardson, two-yard run. There you go. Remember Trent Richardson? Yeah, he's an analyst now for the SEC Network. There you go. That's your Greg Mc McElroy news update of the day. In case you were wondering, well, I wonder what that guy is up to. This will go to the JETS 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 Serenity with the Jets. There it is. And a free top loader. Again, same disclaimer. If you talk to talk to Panini, they'll, they, they may get you something in return. Maybe points. Bilal Powell, two-color patch. Also for Serenity. That's to 50. And what do we got here? We got Tory Smith for the Ravens. That's pretty cool. You can see the, the patches in the background. There you go. Ravens, Tony with the Ravens. The purple birds. Who was on that Texas team? I don't know. Who was scoring for Texas? Hunter Lawrence? A couple field goals? 44-yard interception return? Jordan Sh Oh, Jordan Shipley got a 28-yard reception from Garrett Gilbert. The two-point conversion is good. All right, so there's some names on there, too. All right, anyhow. Moving on, there's Josh Freeman. There's another Bilal Powell relic for the Jets. All right, halfway through this break, folks. Got about another 20 minutes to go. Like I said, this break is sneaky long. But fun. A lot, a lot, of, lot, a lot of blast from the past here. Like, oh, yeah, that guy. Now, still looking for the big, big names, of course. Julio Jones, Cam Newton. This is not just a, a trip down nostalgia lane kind of break. We want to find some big names in here, too. All right, good luck. What other crazy things happened in the NFL weekend? Yeah, the J.J. Watt was really in that. That I did not expect. Just a lot of injuries. But that was that that was the that was the scary thing. Patrick Willis. The Niners coach not happy. Kyle. 
not happy because of the uh, the sticky turf, he said, at MetLife. And he's got to play the Giants and the Jets two weeks in a row out there. He's not thrilled about that. Uh, the Patrick Willis goes to the Niners, Barry Roberts, speaking of the Niners. Week three trend Mike Samich has for me, who are a dog, 62% last 15 years. All right, it's week three trend. 0 oh, 2 teams who are a dog, 62% winners in the last 15 years. There's Jay Cutler for the Bears. Interesting. In week three. Covering 62% of the time. That's a good, that's a good return. There's Jay Cutler to 299. Smoking Jay Cutler going to Joe and the Bears. There's Nate Washington to 100. And DJ Williams, die cut autograph for the Packers. Karen. Yeah, Packers still look pretty good this year, even without giving Aaron Rodgers any help. Speaking of the that Bears relic, the Bears are, what, 2-0, right? Are the Bears 2-0? 40 out of 499. We live in a world where, where the Bears, Arizona Cardinals, and my Raiders are all 2-0. If, if there was some sort of wacky parlay on that, <laughs> how much, what, what, do you th what do you think that would be? There's a Delon Carter, two-color relic and autograph. That'd be crazy. 11 out of 50 for the Blue Horseshoes. Ryan P. Sam Strayer saying Burrow sucks. Yeah, that's it. Two games. That's it. Burrow's done. Release that kid. No, yeah, Burrow actually looks great. If he had a decent offense, he can run a little bit. He's pretty athletic. If he had a decent offensive line. I mean, there are a couple moments where he's clearly a rookie. You know, some, a couple bad interceptions. And, uh, you know, a couple overthrows of some players. But, but yeah, I mean, a lot of his other plays, I mean, he's making some very difficult reads and very good throws. I think the, the, the Joe Burrow, Joey B future is right. There's Reggie Wayne. Zach Pierce is asking, are they really going to sit Herbert now, though? They can, right? Sean Jaspi is a Chargers fan, and he says some crazy things. A, he thinks Easton Stick should probably get more run before Joe, uh, before Joe Burrow, before Justin Herbert. Whoa, Dan Marino jersey and autograph. How about that? How about them apples? Ryan P with the Dolphins. Weren't you trying to trade the Dolphins? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo? Anthony Lynn, as of yesterday, said... This is really nice. Anthony Lynn, as of yesterday, said he was going to keep starting Terod Taylor as long as he's healthy. Out of 25, Dan the Man Marino. Ryan P. Tons, Phil. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. There's Jan Stenerup for the Chiefs. That goes to Nick Galvin. At a 299 on that. Yeah, I mean, he lost the Browns. I don't think he lost the Browns. I think the the Bengals' defense probably lost to the Browns. The rest of that team's still pretty rough. <laughs> Laces out, Dan. All right, card 101. That's Aaron Williams. Anybody remember an Aaron Williams? I don't, yeah, I, I was I was on I was on the Bengals that Thursday night, so I was glad that he got me that back to our car. That was my best. All my other games were pretty terrible. All 
All right, Aaron Williams played with the Bills for about five, only with the Bills for about five seasons. Nice. What is he doing now? Not sure what he's doing now, but there you go. All right, so Buffalo with that one, Scott Cooper. Uh, you must be new here, Tracy. Train whistles are out of fives and under get the train whistle. It's by number, not necessarily about card. Well, that's a good start, Samich. I need you to tell us, uh, not tell me your uh, your name in the supercontinent. So I'll just tail your picks all year long. No, we we didn't do it this year. Nick and I did not do super contests this year or the Circa Millions contest. Although now, now that it, now the deadline's come and gone, now I'm like, I wish I did. Dgen's coast to coast two. Do you have two entries? Who's DJ's Coast to Coast 1? Gotcha, gotcha. The group entry as one. I see. There's Michael Lashore for the Lions. What's your what's your strategy on the I mean how many are in your group first off? And what's the strategy on the on the group? Michael Lashore goes to Richard F. Like how do you come to a consensus? Just straight up vote? How much discussion is there? Or is there no discussion, just votes? This is Stephen Bartkowski. That'll be for the Falcons, Scott Cooper. That's to 299. Oops, sorry. There's Jordan Todman, relic for the Chargers. That goes to Sarah. Gotcha. Five in the group. Couple have. Everyone submits their top five. Two of us have final say. All right. Some some sort of consensus, final say blend. Gotcha. Out of twenty-five, Nate Irving. Well, keep us posted, Mike, on on your progress throughout the season. I'll keep I'll keep track of it too. It's fun though. Out of fifth. Did you go out to Vegas to sign up for it, or did you have? Did you already have someone you knew in Vegas? I think that's kind of that was one of the reasons why. Uh, one of the reasons why I kind of uh, didn't do it. I didn't want to travel all the way out there. Unnecessary travel, as they say. I, I have I have a power ranking system. Oh, your buddy signed. Did your buddy have to be there? I guess that's what I'm asking because I think with every with the proxy service we used, they were saying that we had to still be there in person to sign up. To sign up for the contest and then give the proxy the information right then. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was the hurdle for me. God, he was there time in person. Okay, that makes sense. Um, it's a lot of fun, though. Is this your first year doing it? I think it might be, right? The Living Legends, Ozzie Newsome. It's a lot of fun, though. Out of 299. That goes to the Browns, Joe, with that one. And there's another... Brown, Colt McCoy.
out of 299. Hmm, I'll have to think about that, Mike. I don't know if I'm, I'm I don't know if I'm going to do it at this point. And I, I have a sort of power ranking system. That for some reason, I went through all the work of doing it, and then I didn't like. Let's put it this way: with my picks this week, I was like, I only got thirty-eight percent of my picks right. If I went strictly by my power rankings, Greg Jones for the Giants, by the way, goes to uh, Richard. I would have gotten sixty-five percent. Although the difficult part is picking the five games as well. There is Kendall Hunter for the Niners. That's going to be for Barry Roberts. I know. Scared money don't make money, Mike Samich. My money was scared, and I paid for it. Never again. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with it. Come hell or high water. Go with it all season long and see what happens. I don't know. Like early weeks, I feel like the the, the power rankings that I had wasn't thought it wasn't going to be as effective at this early point in the season. I wasn't going to really commit to it until like four weeks into the season. Or maybe I should just say F it. I'll just just go from there. Yeah, sorry. The net was really cool. Got got to talk in football. That was Ryan Longwell for the Vikings. I think they should bring this they should bring this back. I like kind of like that. I mean, if you're going to put kicker cards in there, give give us the net, give us the kicking net. That's for the Vikings. That'll be for Scott Cooper. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here's what I did. I was such a square move, Mike. Um, I had my power rankings taking the Chargers and then, because I, because you know, there was just like a little overrating and underrating and blah blah blah, blah and just my numbers, the way I had structured. I'll I'll go through it some other time, but just the way I had done the numbers, I was like, oh, I should definitely take the the Chargers. You know, at plus eight and a half or whatever, I, whatever they were close to opening at. And then I was then I outsmarted myself, and I was like, there's no way the char the the Chargers even come close to covering the Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to win by 14 is what I thought in my head. So I outsmarted myself. There's rookie Cam Newton relic for uh, for Carolina, Andrew Webb. No, it's hard to get a bet against Mahomes. It's really hard to bet against Mahomes. That's the 299 Andrew Webb. I should have just passed on it, really. Calvin Johnson die cut's pretty cool. But yeah, you, yeah, Drewby, you're right. Those Chargers Chiefs game always end up being a little closer than you think. Those in division rival games. Yeah. Then what do you do with now? What do you do with Chiefs Ravens? Chiefs second road game in a row, Monday night in Baltimore. Ravens minus three. And a half, that is. There's a hook there. And it's uh, Jamie Harper to 299. See? A lot of crazy things. Scott Cooper and the Titans. That's going to be a fun game to watch, though. We got A.J. Green. Nice. Rookie A.J. Green. This actually turned out to be a pretty good break. We got the A.J. Green three-color patch and autograph. Rookie. R this is an RPA. Bernard Samuel with the Bengals. Right on the card as well. Forty-five out of fifty. We got the Dan Marino jersey and auto. And we got the JJ Watt die cut sticker auto. Not bad so far. And then we still have one more box left. Remember, all card ships, so everything you see here will go. Those silhouette cards, yeah. I think they do, don't they? I thought sil silhouette. All those silhouette uh, autographs have gained popularity over the years. 
Anyway, it's nice stuff. I know, yeah. There's already a couple close... What was that play that we're... we're where's AJ Green? What did he do? He, like, went to, like, the, the, the pylon right here on this one play. He just was like, whoop, and went to the pylon. And Joe Burrow had just maybe threw, overthrew him to the side, and he had was just slightly out of bounds in game one, I think. Ooh. If there was a preseason, you know, maybe he maybe, maybe he makes that. Maybe he maybe that's a touchdown instead. That's out of two ninety nine. Vasante Shianko for the Vikings. That's going to go to Scott Fuber. No, oh, maybe he's a step slow. No, no, I think I think Burroughs threw him a little outside. And there's Lewis Murphy, 21 out of 50. I remember Lewis Murphy. Oh man, I, I was I was so mad at Ryan Bullock that week. Out of 100, Cameron Jordan may have said some some inappropriate words. That was caught on camera when I was here on my off day. I switched off of host mode, and I was fully in, in football degen mode. There's Quentin Carter for my rivals, the Broncos, Neil. I was looking at at least a push. Maybe better if they took it to overtime. Bengals, that is. I was on the Bengals. <laughs> Randy Bullock, Randy Bullock. The redemption is card 224. Card 224 is right here. Daniel Thomas. Daniel Thomas. I have like a for us. Uh... I'm assuming a running back? Daniel Thomas running back? Born in 1987? That sounds about right. Dolphins. There you go. Yeah, drafted in second round of 2011. Dolphins. Miami with that one. Again, Ryan P. Same disclaimer here. Obviously, it's expired, but which is the risk with these older sets, as most of you know. But you can contact Panini. They're pretty good about Maybe uh, giving you something back in return. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent break. Let's do a quick recap here in 12 box. Random team. What is this? Random team number one. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Some nice relics here. I like these net cards are a lot of fun. Silhouette cards are always nice. A lot of nice relics in, in this. Old school relics, Jan Stenerud, Patrick Willis, and a couple Bilal Powell relics right there. That's DeMarco Murray. It would have been a huge card if this we traveled back in time to 2011. I don't think the Lakers are going to are going to cover him. A couple uh, TJ Yates, who apparently is on the coaching staff for the Texans now. Knowledge. We learn things. Did I do these ones already? Did we look through these ones already? And the big hits that we had here. Got a nice Dan Marino jersey and autograph. Nice TJ Watt rookie die cut autograph on a sticker and on card AJ Green. Beautiful. There you have it, folks. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.